Oh, this is gonna go horribly. But we're just doing this one for the memes, so... Actually, I need to... I'm, I'm just gonna try to start this off as a video and try to be, like, 100% the entire time. That way the stream, YouTube. Ah, oh, damn, I already screwed up. Twitch.tv slash Wolf Twitch stream, battle replays. Uh, Raichu, Alolan Raichu event. I got a super awesome Alolan Raichu that had, you know, five IVs and then minus attack, so... We just play in it, and then that means Pinkurchin. I already have Pinkurchin. This is a combo with, you know, Raichu's gonna be filthy damage and stuff. Let's let's win, kind of idea. Uh, my part says no. Riolu says shenanigans, and now we're just going to get like, we're gonna get dumb. We're gonna get dumbed right here, and it's not gonna be great. Uh, Stone Jorner, I don't think we need. Neostic we don't need, so Duraludon Urshifu for the pain and suffering? Maybe. This team was just kind of slapped together. I was I was just like stumbling down rabbit holes into trying to find Pokemon that work with this. But we're going to get cheesed. Let's watch this go horribly wrong. Okay. Rillaboom for the grassy terrain. Straight max darkness. All right, let's try that again. Actually, no, I need to set up the video. And now, is, is this how it's gonna be? Is everyone packing a Rillaboom so I get to just anti-terrain me now? Cause I wanna do Raichu Pinkurchin shenanigans cause we have the Pikachu raid event going on. I got a five IV just like competitively ready Raichu from that event, but no, it's not enough. It doesn't matter. I don't even know what Pokemon I throw out there for bait. Like Stone Jorner, doesn't really bring too much. We have to switch in the Pinkurchin to play around with the speed tiers. There's a Trick Room possibility anyways. But he kind of doesn't want a Trick Room? Like, that's that's some weird stuff. But, I mean, I don't know. Let's just let's just get baited again. Let's just get bodied. Um, we can do that. And then we can do this. And then we pray. And then shenanigans. Alright. Let's see what happens. So I just hope they don't have the Rillaboom in back to get rid of my terrain, because that's just the thing now. And I just wanna I just wanna have fun. I just wanna run the combo. The combo's free. It spells itself out. You know, you get rising voltage damage and you get all kinds of other cool things on it. We don't even get to do that though, because of the Actually, no, he can't spore us, so... Yeah, there, like, there's only one play that Amoongus can make in this situation. I still just want to throw the Rising Voltage onto the hat, though. But then it's not going to be boosted damage. It's still going to be suck. The Amoongus makes it annoying, for sure. Don't have Sucker Punch. Doesn't matter. Alright. This is where we go into the backup plan. Backup plan is Meowstic, and then we just... Psychic's gonna hurt the Amoongus. Rising Voltage doesn't. Whatever, you get your Trick Room. I'll play it. I'll play your game. I just wanna have fun. Let me have fun, okay? Yep, there's the trick room. What's his Pokemon? Tyranitar. Okay. That makes things a little ugly. Especially if there's like Dynamax shenanigans going on. God, I think if he just Dynamax Max Darkness is me, the Protect isn't going to be enough to save it.
Hmm. I just hate Tyranitar too. Like, Tyranitar is the most anti-fun Pokemon for me in Generation 7. Or not 7, 8. I'm pulling up Joe Biden right there. Because, like, every time I build a team, man, Tyranitar just gets in the way because it's annoying. Because, like, what am I going to do against this? I can't one-shot it with a Dora loot on. So we still have to, like, find a way to get through to start hurting the Tyranitar. Okay, Mystical Fire Meowstic's fine. Max Quake, that's targeting Raichu. Oh, I went for the Quake for the special fence, not even Darkness. Uh, so we don't kill anything today. We don't get to play Pokemon, that's cool. We could get through the, Dyn the Tyranitar Dynamax turns, maybe. If we get a Reflect up, that's turn two. Urshifu's really play for Tyranitar. I guess, but I didn't want to have to like force bring it because of that. Especially like Trick Room and other shenanigans. The Urshifu gets kind of weird. So we could imprison, but I don't know if he wants to get into that deep of a mind game. So we could just reflect right now to mitigate what the Tyranitar is going to do. And then we Rising Voltage and just hope it's enough for the Hatterene. Because like there's no point chipping Tyranitar at this rate. Come on. This is the reason why I brought the Meow Stick. I want it to work. Big damage! Ah, uh, if it wasn't for the Max Quake. Saturnine's a fat Pokemon. Alright. Max Darkness is whatever. Hatterene went for the offense. It's okay. So now, have our Reflect. Hatterene's hurt. Duraludon gets the Steel Beam onto Hatterene. Steel Beam onto Tyranitar. Or, you know, the, the max move, so we do that. Hatterene doesn't survive if it protects, doesn't get to re trick room. And then Pincurchin. Liquidation on Tyranitar is not safe. Zing Zap is damage. Zing Zap is decent damage, actually. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, Meowsa got KO'd before it moved, so it wouldn't have mattered. That, too. Well, that's if uh, Tyran if he wanted to do that, you know. He could, if it was Tyrantar target, like if he wasn't, if he was going to use Trick Room again, Tyrantar would have targeted Raichu. So then Meowstic lives. Oh, this is gonna be a rough one. Ha! Doesn't matter. I'm way too much damage. Get out of my face. Now we get defense. So we take less damage from Tyrantar. We might have gotten over this. It's gonna be a tough game. Gonna get weird for sure. Another special defense though. Oh, we don't get over Tyrantar. Good, he's not doing any damage to us. He ignored the Pincurchin. So physical hit. All right. Tyranitar is kind of a non-factor. He brought the Rillaboom. Mm. Poison jab it. Max Quake's too strong.
Yeah, I guess we go Steel Spike, Liquidation. Just hope it's enough damage. Tarantar protects, that'd be kind of dick, but that's whatever. I want to Poison Jab the Rillaboom, but we need to make sure Tyrantar dies. Okay, good, I don't lose a lot of damage for that. Maybe the play, uh, I think the play was actually focusing Rillaboom and then having Sandstorm more off. Yeah, it was a weakness policy. Rantar with a high horsepower. Targeting Pinkurchin. Okay. That kind of buys us something. No way. I mean, Kirchin damage came through. What? Huh. I don't know how we brought this one back. That was ugly. Okay. So, I mean, the plan worked. If I see Trick Room, I do that. I blow up something, I switch into the anti Trick Room on the Meow Stick. That leaves me with tankiness for the Dura Ludon to then steal the battle. Profit. Cool. Like, what a weird battle. Like, that shouldn't... It shouldn't have worked, but it does. Because I, like, just kind of kept the filth options open. And this was against a separate anti-terrain and a Tyranitar. And a Trick Room. We had to overcome, like, three major obstacles and we did it. Oof. That was, uh, that was me pulling out all the contingency plans and finding it. Wow. Okay, we did it. Wow. Um, let's, let's just, can I just, like, not have a roll of boom? I just want, like, a clean game. I want Pincurchin, Alolan Raichu to not have any problems. There's just too many terrains, there's too many... Well, actually, weather we're fine against, because we still have, like, rising voltage under Surge Surfer and craziness. There's too much anti-terrain. Trick Room is way too prevalent right now. And then weirdness happened. Oh, man. I have the Electric Seed on Pincurchin, but I don't even know if that's what I want. I think Citrus Berry might be better, because if I have to switch out Pincurchin, we lose the Electric Seed benefits. All right, we have to deal with an insta fake out. And then shenanigans. I think we'll be okay. Can't bring Stone Joiner, because even with an Assault Vest, too much super hits. I don't think we need the Meow Stick, so then that's when we just go into Beatdown. I wish I had something better for my Urshifu, but we just don't. But, like, see, that, that's that's kind of the problems I've been feeling with this team, because Life Orb is going on Raichu. Raichu isn't Dynamaxing, because you need the Rising Voltage damage while not Dynamaxed. So there goes my Dynamax Life Orb Pokemon. I'm not really feeling any kind of, like, weakness policy backup. I could just bring my own Tyranitar, I guess, and, like, weird anti-shenanigans. But that's an option. And then, like, outside that, I only have two other Pokemon to bring. And it really limits what I can do with those Pokemon, unless I have like a crazy Scarf Pokemon or Choice Band Pokemon. But then I get locked into something, and if Raichu goes down, we're in trouble. And then I also, one of those two Pokemon has to be Dynamax, so you can't run a Choice Band or Choice Scarf on something like, or even Choice Specs on something like the Dynamax Dura Ludon. So I have nothing. There's nothing I can do. Hmm. Tailwind, he wants to get ugly. But, he can't fake out everything. So, like, what's Meowstic's play here? Light screen, and I'm pretty sure Talonflame still dies. Like, let's just run him over. Is the plan. What about Electric Seed Raichu? Way too little damage. Horrible. And also, Raichu still dies to whatever. Like, pretty sure plus one defense Raichu still dies to a max 
super effective physical hit. Why Quick Claw for Urshifu? Because there's nothing else to put on it. He's my Dynamax Pokemon, so I can't give him a choice at him. And then Citrus Berry doesn't really feel powerful at that point. There's no guarantee that Electric Terrain will still be up. That gives us problems. Wow, he just went for the kill. Oh! That's stupid. Max Seed Electric Ra or Max C Max Defense Electric Seed Raichu will never be a thing. Do we double switch? Okay. I hate this game, dude. At least he didn't get Tailwind, but it doesn't matter because he removed my doubled speed. Well, we see his last two Pokemon, so we can determine if it's fine sacrificing here, or if we switch out Pincurchin, Raichu, when they come in, we just... Well, actually, no, we can't blow up Meowstic because he's doing that on priority. Dude, the psychic, like I said, like just bringing it your own terrain setter does shenanigans. So I mean, like psychic terrain into expanding force under priority, it's kind of like having a psychic terrain or like a psychic surge. Not surge, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Psychic surge Pokemon. I'm just sad. The psychic terrain only existed to anti me. Didn't even get sun going. I'm very confused. Can liquidation. The uh, Incineroar. Just hit him. Hit him hard. Raichu's definitely getting uh, faked out though, so. This is gonna get ugly. Unless Incineroar wants to Dynamax for f fire move. But then he won't have the electric, or they won't have the sun as fast enough. God. This battle just. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but July, not July, August, like the last couple weeks have just been ugly Pokemon battles. Like, I like the beginning of Isle of Armor, but then Armor Beginnings was very ugly. And now doubles are just gross. Do we need a Sucker Punch for status moves? That would actually be like one of the coolest things in the game. Monstrous damage though. And we still have our Dynamax. I mean, committing to this is fine. Vine Lash is fine. Yeah, what, he went for Pinkerchen. Pinkerchen somehow survives. That means Incineroar's targeting Raichu. Oh, no, he hit us both, dicks. And that's how frail Pink Urchin is. Or not Pink Urchin, uh, Raichu. This makes things weird. Because Snarl is going to mess us up, or do loot on. Urshifu gets bopped by Venusaur, but is faster. So I think I just want to Dynamax Urshifu. The Intimidate's already worn off. He still has a Meowstic somewhere. And then we could just Draco Meteor. It's ugly. It's ugly. He also dies. He has to max guard, but that doesn't do anything. Uh, he could go for Thunder Wave onto Urshifu, which would be... No, he couldn't, because I just kill him with the, uh, the Draco Meteor.
Yep, there's his guard. Saw the eject button. Meowstic has low stats because it's prankster. Game Freak doesn't like that. Alright, so now we have no stats under Aludon, but we just need Urshifu to clean up. We airstream, Venusaur dies, and then we mo water move, and then uh, Incineroar dies. If you didn't have G-Max, you could set Rain for Thunder. But the thing about G-Max is you need it to break through Max Guard. I know I had that opportunity there, but I don't think that's enough to KO. Like, if G-Max Rapid Flow was enough to KO Venusaur, I should have thrown it there, and it would have been great, because I knew that that was a chance, but I... Venusaur is kind of the exception to the, rap the Max Flow, you know? And I'm Dynamax, so he can't fake me out. Did get the Intimidate, though. Now he's stalling, because he's an unsporting player that's salty. Hey, Quick Claw could have mattered. I guess Incineroar just kind of has to, like, kill Urshifu right now, but I don't think he can. Now we're just stuck using Draco Meteor until we do 5 damage. That's still respectable for minus two. All he can do is snarl. Is this like snarl parting shot? But he switched, so he didn't even parting shot. Maybe it was, wasn't safe enough for him. I don't know. Bad Incineroar. Quick Claw on an Airstream Pokemon. I mean, what if we need the Quick Claw to outspeed one of his Pokemon to finish the KO on Airstream, and then outspeed his next Pokemon. Yeah, think about it. Big damage. Somehow this team pulled out another ugly battle. It shouldn't happen, like you look at the team composition, you look at the Pokemon I'm bringing, and the Raichu Pinkurchin shouldn't work. But we just got through some... We got through two anti-terrains, a trick room, and a Tyranitar.